Hey you guys, this is actually just gonna be a quickie tonight. Um, I got these super cute little canvases at Joann's on sale and they were so adorable. And I had my leftover Arteza paints and so I just wanted to do a little ring pour. I hadn't done one of those in a while. And this is definitely gonna be too much paint, but Oh, there's that red, there's that gold. Loved those colors together. And in the ring pour, when I'm doing my 3D ring pour and I want the circles to be very aligned and defined, you want the paint thicker so it was easy because it was the same consistency basically as my colander pour. I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. It's a little lumpy. Just gonna let everything go over the sides. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, I think I'm just gonna leave that just right there. That is such a pretty color combination. I love the effect that's happening right here. Give me a second and I'll take you down so I can show you. Okay, you guys, I always like fix things and then I show you afterwards and I'm like, whoops, sorry. So I thought that I would fix it while you're on camera with me. Um, I had this one little lump of paint so what I'm gonna do is actually stretch this out just a little bit further. So find out where the weight of the paint is. It's over here. And I'm just gonna push a little bit of that. There we go. Off the center, come around. And in doing so, I'm also stretching those cells out just a little bit. So I don't wanna lose all my gold or all my blue. So I'm gonna bring it back right there. Bring it back over to this side, get a little bit of that red off of there, and then bring it back to the center. And look at how well those lines hold up. You guys, if you're having trouble with your ring pours, thicken up your paint a little bit. If you're wanting this type of design, if you're not wanting cells that hold like this, I mean, cells, lines that hold like this, then uh, you know a thinner ring pour is definitely okay. My paints were just a little bit clumpy. Now I gotta go off that way just a little bit. But yeah, if you guys want your lines to hold up, and this will dry perfect, even though the paints are thick. I show you guys all my dry paintings and they dry perfectly fine. So again, the colors, a little bit Christmassy, but I really, really like the effect. So um, let me take you down and look at how 3D those lines are in there. How they kind of inter, that is just amazing, that center. How they kind of interconnect and that gold is gonna dry like a metallic finish. But yeah, I mean, the lines are just crazy. It's the way that I layer it into the cup and it's the way that I pour it out and it's the consistency that keeps it holding like this. But this is the, this effect right here and this effect in here is the way that I've layered it into the cup. If you layer it just straight down um, and have it layer by layer, instead of doing it, I call it my, my uh, paint split, the split cup. If you do it the regular way, then you'll just get color on one side and color on another side. But if you do it this way, it comes out looking so 3D. But there you go, you guys. Just a little oblong canvas tonight. All right. Thank you for watching. Yeah, the painting. Bye.